uh, with Ron and Pauline, and also Lena and Marjorie. Uh, she had a sister staying with her. And I said to Marjorie, where, where are you from? And she said, I'm from King's Beach. Well, that sparked a memory for me. I said, oh, I've got a story about <laughs> King's Beach. We had a very dear friend who had, was suffering from epilepsy. And she went swimming with her little family, three little girls, and her mother and her husband. Husband went out to try to catch a wave, and Grandma was looking after the little girls. And this lady got taken out in the waves, and she had an epileptic fit, and she drowned. And no one missed her for quite some time, until the waves on King's Beach rolled her body on the shore. And of course the lifesavers came and they tried to do mouth to mouth resuscitation. They called an ambulance. The family gathered around, the husband came back, and the ambulance came. They took her to hospital. They tried all sorts of treatment in the hospital until eventually the doctor said it's too late, she's gone. So they covered her with a sheet and left her. Closed the door, left her. Meanwhile, Grandma has taken the three little girls back to her house at King's Beach. She says, come on girls, we're going to talk to Jesus. So she takes the girls and they get down on their knees and they talk to Jesus to save their mummy. Back in the hospital, mummy wakes up. <laughs> God is still in the miracle business. <laughs> and then she screamed out, help! <laughs> a nurse ran in and turned white with shock. <laughs> and but she said, Come on, I need a bucket. And she was saved from being proclaimed dead to being saved through the power, I believe, through the power of Jesus' love. It's just such a wonderful She's still alive today, and we are often in touch. But God is great, He's a miracle working God. Sometimes the diagnosis is not very helpful. When you get the diagnosis, but you don't always have to accept the prognosis. And this little child of three little girls and their grandmother did not accept the prognosis. I believe Jesus could raise it from the dead. So that's a little story I wanted to tell you. Good morning. I've just watched the video of Paul sharing about my drowning and my resurrection from the dead. Here I am, Margie, and the Lord has been so good to me. I'm now 76. I was 28 when that happened. The Lord has given me a great life. And I've been and done many things for him. Been to the mission field. I'm now working in my church still, running Alpha, the Alpha course. And I see that you have a beautiful group of people that meet there. You all meet together. Well, God bless you. You know, as we get older, we draw near to the Lord because He is our strength. He is our courage, and only he will sustain us through these days that we live in. It's never too late. Always call upon the Lord. Amen. God bless. Bye.